Are you shopping for a new kneeling chair, but you're confused as to why some models look very similar but have much different price points? In this video, we're going to compare cheap versus expensive kneeling chairs so that you can decide which option is best for you. Researching kneeling chairs? BTOD TV is your number one source for everything kneeling chairs. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Hi, I'm Ryan with BTOD TV. A while back, I uploaded a full video review on the variable balance kneeling chair, and one of the most common questions and comments that we got was in regards to the price and why it is so expensive in comparison to most other kneeling chairs. Now, at the time, this chair was priced at $399. Since then, the price has been reduced to $299, so the gap has closed a bit, but there is still a bit of a margin there. So I've brought in what we consider to be a cheap kneeling chair, very similar design. This is a Wish a Life kneeling chair. It sells for $104.99. Chairs with this type of design are very minimalistic. There's not a lot going on, but there are a few aspects that we can highlight to show you how they do differ. The first thing that we are going to look at between the variable balance and the Wish a Life chair is going to be the overall build quality and design aspect of the chairs. So the variable balance is the original kneeling chair. It was developed and designed in 1979. That's 50 years that Verrier has had times to perfect this design and to really hone in on what it does well. Compare that to the Wish a Life chair, and it's been out for around a year is what the Amazon reviews tell me. I was not able to get this information from the factory, but this is a fairly new design, not a lot of production, not a lot of experience going in with this chair. So made in Europe, made in China, and the overall quality is going to be reflected in the warranty. You're gonna get seven years of coverage on the frame with the variable balance with five years on the foam, and the warranty on the Wish a Life is gonna be a year. Now, when looking at these chairs, it's obvious that the Variable Balance is a better designed, more quality chair than the Wish of Life, but what specifically makes the design better? So we'll look at two things, the frame and the foam to show you how these chairs differ. On the frame, there was a lot of thought process going into this design like we touched on. They've had 50 years to perfect this. This is gonna be a multi-layer beach plywood design, a very lightweight wood, and it's very durable. With a 300 pound weight rating, this chair is very strong, and it also offers a lot of flexibility, which gives you a ton of range of motion, which is one of the biggest upsides of this kneeling chair. Both of the chairs do rock back and forth, which is nice, but this frame allows you to move laterally side to side, you can twist, you can turn, and it gives you a lot more freedom in this chair than the Wish of Life. And that's gonna be because the Wish of Life's chair, the frame is not gonna be flexible. That's gonna be because of the wood that they used. It's not as high quality, it's not as durable with a 250 pound rating, and it's not gonna be flexible. They also needed to add multiple cross supports. You've got additional cross supports on this chair compared to the variable balance. They highlight this as a positive, that it's a more sturdy design. Really, it's a drawback and it's a negative, and they need these cross supports to make it durable enough to hold 250 pounds. And the reason being is that this is a copycat design. They do not know exactly why this chair was designed this way so they copy it and when they find out it's not quite durable enough they make steps to get it to the point that they need it to be and that's why it has the cross supports but the cross supports really take away from your range of movement and the next thing that we're going to look at in terms of quality is going to be the foam in each chair model so the variable balance is going to have thinner foam, but it's gonna be much higher quality, a polyurethane design. This foam design will hold its shape well, it will be supportive, and it won't bottom out. Another plus side of this foam design is that you do not get overly warm in the chair because it's not surrounding your legs, you're not sinking into the foam. So overall, it's gonna be a much more comfortable experience than the foam choice on the Wish of Life chair. Now, when we look at the two chairs, just sight, you would think that this is gonna be the more comfortable chair because it looks thicker, it looks more cushy, but that's not gonna be the case. The reason that this foam is so thick is because it is low quality. If they were to put the same amount of foam in their chair as this chair, it would be like you're sitting on wood. So to compensate for that, they just add more foam and more foam. But when you add more and more low quality foam, it does not necessarily produce good results. It will still bottom out and it can get warm because you're sinking into the foam, it surrounds your leg, it surrounds your body and overall it's going to be a much warmer experience than the foam on the balance chair. 
Another thing to consider with the thick foam on the Wish of Life chair is from a user experience, when you're sitting on the knee pads, the foam is so thick that any type of movement causes the foam to almost fold off of the frame and get crooked and get sideways, which is not very comfortable, it's awkward. You kind of have to reset yourself and get the foam back in place. So overall, it's just not going to be as comfortable an experience as the balance chair. Deciding between a cheap and an expensive kneeling chair can be a tough decision. This is one of those situations where I do think that the benefit of going with a chair like the Balance over a Wish of Life definitely outweighs the price that you're paying for the chair. But I can see why a lot of people opt for a chair like the Wish of Life. At almost a third of the price, you're saving a ton of money, and if you're not gonna be using the chair that often, it still gives you a lot of the benefits of a kneeling chair like the balance. You're still able to rock back and forth. You still have that nice open leg and hip angle for your lower back. So there is a lot of benefits for both models. It's just gonna be up to you to decide which is most important to you. If you found this video to be useful, I would highly recommend clicking on the link in the description where it will take you to our blog. We've got a full write-up review on the variable balance so that you can see what the entire chair is about. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you've made it this far, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next kneeling chair video. Thanks a lot for watching.